Hey guys, Pringle Gaming here. Welcome back to the second Mill and Lasses video on my channel for today. And obviously, it is Mill versus Oxford. The game Mill lost three goals to nil. There's not so much to talk about. This game really wasn't an interesting game. There was a lot of goals in it, don't get me wrong, but the chances, there wasn't so many. I mean, Mill had one shot on target, Oxford had five. So yeah, there, there wasn't so much. Most of the game was done within the first nine minutes. So, let's just get into what actually happened. And well, Oxford United started the game off brightly, scoring in the sixth minute. Connor McElney picked up the ball off of Josh Ruffles. He then kind of hit it on the half volley, and well, it beat Jordan Archer to his bottom left-hand corner, and that was his ninth of the season. An outstanding strike, and both of his goals were actually really nice goals as well. And well, as I said, three minutes later, he did go on to score yet another goal as Lundstrom found McElney on the edge of the box he's literally picked it up turned a little bit and smashed it from like the side of the left hand side of the box it's really beyond me how that went into the back of the net I, I just don't know Archer is there to make the save you could argue Webster could have blocked that but still for that to have gone in that was an amazing goal it curled past Romeo and Archer and into the back of the net and that was his 10th goal of the season and obviously that was the final goal he did score but as for the chances in the first half that was it the second half was where it would all come out next and there'd be more chances and well it would mean that Jordan Archer would also have to again try and be there to do something he had to actually make some sort of save he had to pouch onto the ball when Conor McAlney beat the defence and no one could stop the Everton Loney from moving forward Mill would then have their one and only shot on target in the 60th minute as Gregory played the ball through to Aidan O'Brien. And while the Irishman's effort, it was just so lacklustre, it was poor. It was straight onto the keeper's shoulder. He probably could have taken it round him, to be honest. He didn't know, and well, in the end, it was a great save by the keeper and really summed up Mill's game. In the 71st minute, that was when the final goal of the game would go in the back of the net as Chris Maguire, a striker, floated the corner in from the left-hand side. That then got onto the head of Josh Ruffles, who beat both Jordan Archer, who flapped at the ball and completely missed it, and Ben Thompson to header it into the back of the net, meaning it's his third of the season. There was one final chance in the game as Morrison did have a close effort in the 74th minute of the match, but that effort just went over the bar quite simply. Into the key players and for Millwall, I'm going to have to go with Jed Wallace. It's quite hard to find a key player for Millwall in that match. We just, we were really poor. But Wallace, he tried. He, I can't fault how much he gave it a go. On a day that Millwall just was really poor, he had a lot of commitment to try and turn it around for the Lions. And as for Oxford, Conor McAlney scored two goals. He did. And this game played to his strengths. And he had the confidence to strike the ball wherever. I think he would have hit it from the halfway line if he could have. And may well have even scored the way Archer was playing. It was it's unfair on Archer because he did seem injured and everything. But if he's injured, he shouldn't be playing. And Oxford, we made them look a little bit better than what they were. But they still played some pretty nice football at times. And well, in the end, we just we didn't deserve anything out of the game the way we played. So that is all for today's no one else's video. Obviously, we have one final one coming up against Bristol Rovers. So until that analysis video, like, comment, subscribe, because I will be seeing you guys in that analysis video. But until then, goodbye.